YouTube. I'm out in my backyard. I was checking out the garden. I've got all sorts of beautiful plants growing out here. And I was looking around at the back of my shed and I found a very exciting thing, which is a huge flush of wine cap mushrooms. So a couple months ago, I went ahead and inoculated some of my garden beds with wine cap mushrooms. I got grain spawn from North Spore, and that's just a big bag of inoculated spawn, basically. And I put that all over my garden beds, here and here, because it does a great job of keeping water in the soil all throughout the growing season, and I get mushrooms when I water my garden beds. But I had some extra spawn, because one bag of spawn covers quite a few garden beds, and I went ahead and inoculated uh, some straw that I had around for just kind of putting on top of my garden beds. So what I did was I soaked the straw for three days, which allows it to anaerobically ferment, which helps knock back some of the fungal competition that comes when you, you know, are using substrate uh, like straw or wood or whatever. Uh, and wine caps are very, very competitive, so you don't need to fully uh, sterilize the substrate like you would for some other mushroom species, but it does help to kind of reduce the competition. So I went ahead and soaked the straw and I put it into kitty pools right here and I mixed in some of my grain spawn. And I was watering it for a little while uh, and then as the season went on I got kind of bored of watering so I set up one of these little uh, sort of irrigation things and I'll turn that on a couple days a week and let it run. Uh, and I came out today after it had been on for a few days in a row and found this huge flush of wine cap mushrooms just popping out of this bed. So let me set this up so you guys can see what I'm doing here um, because I need to go ahead and just harvest these. It's, it's time to eat them. Uh, so oh, I'll get down to the ground and you guys can see what I'm doing here. Uh, I brought out a little colander here with my handy open L knife and I've got one that's even a fascinated by fungi one which is pretty cool. So I've got an enormous collection of mushrooms to uh, to get into here. And let's move this around so you can see a little bit, a little bit better. Um, but there's, you know, I know you're not gonna be able to see this super well. Uh, let me move this up so you can get a better look at it. But even still, it's gonna be hard to see all the mushrooms out here. But I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, probably 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, at least in this one bed. And I'll show you how we're gonna know that. <laughs> Start moving the straw aside and, uh, and making these a little bit more visible. And these mushrooms will just start appealing or appearing all over the place. So you can see if we look down in the straw that there's some really nice dense uh, mycelium here. So this mycelium was very happy. And it's so happy in fact, that it produced a bunch of mushrooms. And what I'm gonna do is and kind of go through these and get them cleaned off a little bit. Um, I'll use my hand to kind of poke down on the straw and wherever I feel a hard point there's probably a mushroom underneath. And I think most of them have come up. They look pretty mature. I can see a nice uh, immature one over there in the bed behind me. Um, but ooh, man look at this. This they're just busting up through through the straw here. Um, and this is a great illustration of how wine caps can be really good for your garden because they do this with the soil too. And they'll help turn up all the soil and aerate it, uh, which is great because it stops you from having to uh, till your soil every year. And wine caps are saprobes, so they're really good uh, decay mushrooms and they will break down a lot of the, uh, you know, which straw and other organic matter, leftover plant stuff in your soil and build a really good healthy soil microbiome. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> just harvest these. I have an enormous number of mushrooms that I got to get through. Um, and I probably have more than I'm going to be able to eat. So I'll, I'll give some of these to my friends. Uh, and that's a, not a nice thing is if you grow mushrooms, at some point you may have more than you need. And it's always fun to give some away to friends. So um, what I'll do is I'll just kind of trim the base off here, uh, get some of the straw off. They're, they're pretty clean because there's no dirt in here. It's just straw basically. Uh, but you know, the cleaner you can get your mushrooms, the longer they'll last and the better tasting they'll be. So I like to give these a little once over and uh, try to get all the straw off, get any little errant bits of dirt off. Um, some of the wine caps, they get a little more mature like this one here. Sometimes when I go to cook them, 
I'll take some of the gills off because the gills have kind of a weird flavor that I don't always love. Um, but the mushroom flesh itself is comparable to like a portobello in terms of texture. Uh, the flavor's a little bit different, uh, but it's it's not that different. It's definitely not anywhere near as earthy as a, as a portobello or a, a button mushroom. Um, they do have their own kind of distinctive flavor. These are in uh, the Strafaria uh, order, Strafariaceae, I think it is. Um, you can see, got quite a few mushrooms in here already, and that was just one one big cluster. Uh, yep. Man, I probably should have harvested these this morning. They grow so fast. Uh, it's pretty impressive to see how fast they grow, <laughs> you know. I didn't even notice them two days ago, but I came out here today and I was like, whoa, the straw is going, going crazy. So go ahead and harvest all these. Um, they make really delicious dishes with these. Uh, I'm very excited because the, the spawn that I got from North Spore is just phenomenal. It, it produces so many mushrooms. This is my, I think, third year inoculating with it. And so I've gotten just huge flushes of wine cap mushrooms using this. Uh, method here and I'm located in Napa, California. So it's very warm here in the summer and it's pretty hot and dry too. Uh, but I'm able to get these mushrooms to come up despite it being very warm and hot and dry. Um, they do great. I just keep them in kind of the shady spot of my yard and uh, keep them wet. Uh, first year I did this, I just used a hose. It was only last year and this year that I've kind of gotten into using the uh, little mister thing. That just makes it a little bit easier to maintain high humidity back here. But, oh man, this is, it's so satisfying to just like harvest an entire <laughs> basket full of mushrooms out of your own yard. You know, usually I gotta go to the woods and work pretty hard to find all these, but here I am just picking them literally out of my own backyard. Uh, you know, I can get tomatoes, I can get mushrooms, I got peppers, I've got corn and sunflowers and just all sorts of amazing stuff so here check out that nice big basket of mushrooms um i got one more back here and see this one okay oh yeah there we go so the bed here had flushed already once so this is its second big flush and i wouldn't be surprised if maybe i get a third flush of wine caps out of this bed uh in maybe another couple of weeks or another month or so and then after that the straw will probably be spent but i can use this straw in my compost or even just put it back onto my garden beds and re-inoculate all my garden beds with more, uh, more good wine cap spawn. So, or I can take half of the straw out and mix in fresh straw that I've soaked and, uh, and get another flush of wine caps. So you can kind of flip your mushroom stalks and keep them going in that way, um, which, is, which is really great. So, let's see. This, this bed is very wet. Um, only this is the first mushroom. There's one nice big one here. <sighs> See this big beautiful one? It's gonna be a good one. So I'm gonna cut this off. This is a very thick stem. I could see this one would get absolutely massive if I let it grow more. Uh, but I prefer wine caps that haven't actually opened up. So like I said, the other ones ideally I probably would have harvested yesterday, but I didn't even notice until this morning and then I was busy today, so I didn't harvest them until just now. Um, but that is one super solid, super chunky that mushroom. So I feel around here. I don't feel any other hard spots, but I'm pretty sure another day or two, I'll get more of these really big, chunky, slippery, awesome looking uh, wine caps. So, yum. Got a big, basket of delicious wine cap mushrooms here that I grew in my own backyard. Uh, used the North Spore Spawn, uh, mixed it into this soaked straw, and just kept it wet for about two, three months. And, uh, and then I got these, these awesome mushrooms. So you too can do this. Uh, it's, it's really not hard. Uh, it's a pretty easy, low effort way to cultivate mushrooms. And the results are hard to argue with. So there's my little uh, tutorial on how to grow your own, harvest your own wine cap mushrooms. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go inside with these and wash them off and cook them up. So pretty easy thing to do. Um, the wine caps have also 
really helped my tomato bed. It's going absolutely crazy. I have so many beautiful, delicious tomatoes. I've gotten a couple wine caps out of there too, just when the irrigation goes off. Soil gets wet, mushrooms come up. So I'm uh, pretty excited to go cook these up. And uh, yeah, check out my, my Instagram story to see what I make with them. Uh, many thanks to North Spore for making such great spawn and helping me grow uh, awesome mushrooms here in my own backyard. So, uh, whoop, there we go. Wish you guys uh, much love. And if you'd like to learn more from me, please check out my website, fastedbyfunga.com. Uh, if you want to support me, I do have a Patreon or you can just follow me on all the different social media channels. I'm here on YouTube. I've got a Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. Uh, it's awesome to be able to teach you guys about mushrooms and uh, hope everyone enjoyed this and sending you much love. Oh, there's, there's my cat. Hi. Bye, guys.